Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem about using vectors, they tell us that two vectors a and b are at right angles to each other, which I've drawn right here. And then they tell us that the magnitude of vector a is 1. And we don't know what b should be. That's what we're trying to find. So that the resultant vector, if we add them two together, is 2. Whenever we add vectors, we want to do tail to tip. If we add a plus b, and so if we slide B up here, I'll just draw it like this. So we just took B and moved it so that the tail of B is at the tip of A. And now this is the same as adding the two together. And this is how you add two vectors together. So now the resultant vector, we'll call the resultant vector C. They say that is equal to 2. But if you look at this, we just created a right triangle. Because they tell us we have a, a right angle right here, and the orientation of these doesn't matter. It could be spun any way you want. They'll still be at a right angle to each other. So this will still work when we slide B up. We'll still end up with a right angle right here. So since we have a right triangle, we can use Pythagorean's theorem. Pythagorean's theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared and we're trying to find b so let's subtract a squared from both sides subtract a squared so now we have b squared is equal to c squared minus a squared and we need to isolate b by taking the square root of both sides of the equation so now we have b is equal to the square root of c squared minus a squared we have values for C and for A, so let's plug them in. So we have B is equal to the square root of 2 squared minus 1 squared. And 2 squared, of course, is 4. 1 squared, of course, is 1. So B will be the square root of 4 minus 1. So B is the square root of 3. So the square root of 3 is... 1.7. So B needs to be 1.7 units long in order so that when we add A and B together, C will equal 2.